Hello again, this is Ben Baxter with Accent Software coming to you from YouTube. Going to show you another Microsoft Dynamics NAV quick tip on uh, how to better utilize your Dynamics NAV software. And today's topic is going to be all about personalization. Uh, so one of the highly underutilized aspects of Dynamics NAV uh, is the ability for the user to control their screen, control their layout, and what they see on screen. Uh, and I think it's very, very important for users to do that because it's going to greatly improve their efficiency. Uh, so I'm not going to touch much on the role tailored client uh, or the role center itself, although you can make a lot of changes here. I want to talk about some of the um, higher impact points. So let's talk about a sales order. So if I open up uh, just the sales order list, which uh, if you're not doing most of your processing from the sales order list, uh, you should start doing that because a lot of what you want to get from the sales order itself, if you want to uh, post it, if you want to print off uh, a work ticket, a pick ticket, uh, send it off to a client, you can do all of that information right from a list. A lot of processing can be done from the list parts themselves. All right, so we're going to actually go to a uh, card, so I'm going to do the opposite of what I just said. Um, but I want to show you the card itself. So this sales order, uh, I've actually personalized a little bit. So we have the uh, customer number, the name, the person I talked to, uh, the shipment date that we're going to ship the product out, posting date, requested delivery date, when they want it by. Uh, so some key pieces of information in the header. Normally, uh, if I didn't personalize it, this is your header. Uh, so a lot of information that you don't actually need. Most of these fields are going to remain blank. Um, so I could either remove them altogether or I can personalize it and take them off the screen. So let me show you how I did that. Uh, and this is dependent on the version of Dynamics and AV that you have. Uh, so I'm going to go to the top left corner. This is in NAV 2015. I think it's also the same for 2013. Uh, if you're using uh, Dynamics and AV 20, 2009, I believe this option's on the right side. And what we're going to do is we're going to say customize, and we're going to go to customize this page. Now the word customize sounds like you're making some big development change. You're not. Uh, it's what's known as a personalization. It impacts your user and your user only. Uh, so as I make these changes, anybody else that's using this system is not going to see the changes I make. Uh, there is a capability for doing that called configure. Um, so if you are rolling out NAV for the first time, if you're just moving to the role tailored client, you do want to look into configuring profiles to uh, match specific roles within the company. In this case, we're just going to talk about personalization. So this is a user by user change. I am on the fast tabs box and this is where I'm going to see general lines invoicing so of the sales order you see on my left hand side over here general lines invoicing shipping foreign trade prepayment these are the options that I see down here now I also have the option to say okay well I don't do foreign trade let's take that off I don't require prepayments or deposits so now I'm minimizing the tabs or the data that has to load when I load that page now we're going to go into general. Okay, So this is where the header is, the customer information, the address, uh, what fields do I want to show on that. So I have this option over here on the right that says customize fast tab. When I click on that, it's going to show me the available fields and the fields shown. So a column by column matchup of what's available and what is currently shown. And even within the fields shown, uh, they don't have to be displayed all the time. So we have three different what we call importance factors. Uh, so if I pull down that list, there's standard, which means it shows uh, all the time when the page opens. There's promoted. It shows even when the fast tab is minimized. So if I come down, we'll actually we'll talk about promoted here in just a little bit. Uh, and then additional. An additional is where uh, it's still on the fast tab, but it's hidden and it's only shown when you say show me the additional fields. Uh, so those are your three choices. And if we look through my list, we have the number, sell to customer number. So uh, the number is actually the big 3008 up there. And then I have my customer number, my customer name, and then the contact. Now you'll notice contact number 
is not shown. That's because it's additional. So promoted, it's going to be here, and it will also be on the fast tab when it's minimized. Standard is it's going to show uh, at all times when it's uh, open so whenever that card is open this will be shown and then there's additional so I have my cell 2 address address 2 city state zip all of those are marked as additional so that address information is hidden I don't need to see that information all the time I'm not on the customer record where I need to be updating that I'm only doing it on the sales order itself uh, so I don't necessarily need to see that information all the time so I can make my changes here and I can simply click this several different times and it will change the importance. Uh, if I know what I want it to be then I can set it to additional or standard or promoted uh, by selecting the drop down and I also have the ability to move it around so maybe I want the contact name uh, displayed further up so I grab the cell 2 contact so this is the uh, field here and I'm going to move it all the way to the top above my uh, customer name. So it will be the sell to customer, the person's name, and then the company name. Now that doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense, but uh, since I already have it uh, minimized to be uh, right below their customer name, we're simply moving it up one. And you'll notice I moved it up several different spaces. That's because all this information is hidden. Now even when I show these fields, it will still remain where it is where before if I clicked show more fields then it would have been below the address information so where it's positioned on here is how you control how it displays um, on the actual card itself so we're gonna hit OK it's gonna save my change I'm gonna hit OK again and I want you to watch so what happens when I hit OK is it's gonna close the sales order and reopen it with my new changes so it closes the window and reopens it and now you can see it says the customer number the contact person and then the customer name now to me that doesn't make a lot of sense maybe to you it does uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly change that back and just show you in real time how quickly you can do this uh, you can quickly grab it move it down to where it makes sense and hit OK OK again and then it's going to close and reopen your page and so now I've moved it back down and then uh, the portion I was going to show you is the promoted so right now the uh, customer number which is 20,000 is shown and you'll notice that when I pet my mouse over it the little uh, tooltip pops up and tells me what that field is so this date I, I see a date but I don't know what the date is by petting my mouse over it I see the shipment date is 128 2016 so now I have a reference point for what that information is I didn't need to expand it same thing down here on the invoicing tab it's minimized but I still have critical information so 14 days I can see that's the payment terms 211 that's the due date that's when that money will be owed to me should I ship an invoice this today uh, or based on my posting date um, so a lot of great information there making sure that you've uh, minimized and expanded the information that you need to see uh, and it's always recommended to have tabs uh, shrunk or minimized when you're not using them uh, unless it's something you get into all the time so the header typically that'll remain open the sales lines as well but the invoicing shipping uh, if you use prepayments foreign trade uh, all of those are supporting information that you don't need to get into on a frequent basis uh, so you would keep those minimized and then remove them if you're not ever going to get into them uh, so that's one aspect of it uh, and that's personalizing the fields displayed and the order shown in the header. Uh, we're going to make this kind of a three-parter uh, so keep, a, keep an eye out for the personalizing the action ribbon and personalizing the column layouts and how to add freeze panes uh, and adjust the buttons that you see on your lines or journals. So I uh, hope you like this video. Hope you like our channel. Please like and subscribe if you do. Share those with your colleagues, your friends, uh, anyone that would be uh, finding value in this video. So with that, uh, I wish you good luck and I hope you uh, stick around and take a look at some of our other videos. Thank you very much.